Hello everyone and welcome back to Core Monsters for the start of the 2002 season here in Pontiac, Michigan. Our field of trucks today sees Herbert Miller in Airborne Assault, Mark Moody debuting the brand new B4 Brakes car parts, Todd Yates in Doggone Crazy, 2001 Racing Champion James Whitaker in Eagle Eye, Damon Newton in High Voltage, DJ Payne in King Carnage, Mike Maxwell in Loud Pedal, Thomas Presley in Prehistoric Crush, 2001 Freestyle Champion Opal Baxter in Reckless Red, and Jack Schroeder in Try Me. Now before we get into racing, both Jack Schroeder in Try Me and DJ Payne in King Carnage will not be in the racing field due to Try Me losing a transmission in intros and King Carnage having RII issues. Now for round one of racing. We have B4 Brakes Car Parts versus Eagle Eye as our first race. Off the line, pretty even start. Looks like B4 is ahead. Eagle Eye with the much better turn though. Head towards the final turn. B4 pulls back ahead. Across the line, it's going to be Mark Moody and B4 Brakes Car Parts moving on to round two. Now for our second race, we have Damon Newton in High Voltage versus Herbert Miller in Airborne Assault. Off the line, Damon Newton with the early lead. Great turns from both trucks. Damon out of the turn much faster. Herbert with the tighter line, but not good enough. High Voltage gets the win, moving on to round two. Next up, we have Thomas Presley in Prehistoric Crush versus Opal Baxter in Reckless Red. Off the line, pretty even. Opal with a great turn. Thomas with a good turn as well. But nowhere near the power that Reckless Red has. Opal Baxter is going to be... Or no, Prehistoric Crush is going to get the win. The officials are calling a missed ramp for Opal. Final race of the first round. Todd Yates, doggone crazy. And Mike Maxwell on loud pedal. Again, pretty even off the line. Pretty equal turns. This is going to be a good one. Even into the final turn. Mike looks to be pulling ahead. And Mike Maxwell is going to move on to round two. After an eventful round one, we're on to round two. First matchup, Mark Moody, B4 at Brakes Car Parts, versus Damon Newton in High Voltage. Both trucks dead even off the line. And great turns from both. Mark's a little more sideways than Damon, though. Into the final turn. Great turn from Damon. That's what you want to see. And, ooh, he hits the finishing post. Gets a little crooked there. But that is not a penalty. Now, we have Thomas Presley, Prehistoric Crush, going against Mike Maxwell in Loud Pedal to see who goes against Damon in the finals. Great start from Mike. Great turn as well. Prehistoric Crush just does not quite have the power to keep up, though. And Mike Maxwell in Loud Pedal is going to the finals to face off against Damon Newton in High Voltage. Now it's time to see who wins our first ever racing event here in Core Monsters. Damon Newton, High Voltage, Mike Maxwell, Loud Pedal. Staged up, light goes green off the line. Early advantage, Damon Newton in High Voltage. Great turns from both trucks. Down the straight, into the final turn. Damon goes wide. Loud Pedal keeps it tight. Loud Pedal's gonna win it, and High Voltage goes for a ride. Keeps it off the wall, but Mike Maxwell wins the first racing event in Core Monsters history. And now we move on to Freestyle. The order is gonna be Prehistoric Crush out first. King Carnage got their RII issues fixed, so they'll be out second. 
High Voltage out third, Eagle Eye fourth, Airborne Assault fifth, Before It Breaks Car Parts coming out sixth, Doggone Crazy coming out seventh, Try Me got the transmission swapped, so it'll be coming out eighth, Loud Pedal coming out ninth, and we'll end off the event with our reigning freestyle champion, Opal Baxter in Reckless Red. Starting off with Thomas Presley in Prehistoric Crush. This is our first time seeing Thomas and Prehistoric Crush on Core Monsters. It's also the first time they're doing a stadium show, so we'll see how well they adapt to the bigger floor in freestyle. So far starting off, a couple of pretty decent hits. But momentum's not really there for what you want to see in a stadium. Kind of searching around for their next hit. Looks like they're backsiding the middle ramp. Pretty good little wheelie there. Going up and over. And searching again. Back to the white lane. Good little jump there. Now looks like he's lining up for that single car ramp. Just going to roll over it a little bit. Not a ton going on in this run. There we go, some nice air off the blue racing lane. But again, for a stadium show, this is not quite the momentum you want to see. You'd like to see them go after more obstacles a little quicker, but a good sky wheelie off the back of the blue lane there. And looks like they're going to park it up on that single car ramp there. Score of 17. Not a bad first showing for Thomas in uh, Prehistoric Crush, but definitely looks to improve in the future. Next up, DJ Payne, King Carnage. Missed racing due to an RII problem, but they got that figured out. Hopefully gonna put on a good show here in freestyle for the fans. Little bit of a wonky start, but hits the blue racing lane with some pretty decent air. Backside of the white lane. Pretty good sky wheelie there. He's going back to the blue lane. And even bigger air that time as well. Nice little full throttle pass down the straight. You're not going to hit an obstacle. Give the fans something out of it. Over that single car ramp. Pretty good air as well. And another great sky wheelie off the backside of the white racing lane. Well, the momentum's definitely slowing down here. Oh, is he going for the van stack? Yes, he is. First truck to hit it. And he hit it pretty good. And now he's going to go into some donuts, it looks like. Some really good donuts. Great set of donuts there by DJ Payne. Going backside of the blue lane with a vertical sky wheelie. Walks it across the stack, puts it down. Only a score of 19 from the judges. Next up, Damon Newton in high voltage. He was driving Napa Auto Parts the last couple of seasons. At finals last year, he made the switch over to high voltage. Hoping this truck's going to treat him a little better. Struggled with Napa, but this is a whole new truck for him. So far, great start to the run. Great start to the event as well, finishing second in racing. Lines up for the middle ramp. Pretty good air off of it into a slap wheelie. I don't think he got quite the wheel he wanted out of that, but still pretty good. And now he's going backside of the van stack. 
again, pretty good hit. And pretty good momentum so far. This is what the fans want to see. Off the single car ramp. Into a great slap wheelie. Dragging the bumper. Looking for the next hit now. Looks like backside of the white lane. Huge air. Landed a little funky though. And now into donuts on the top end of the track. Another great set of donuts ending out a run. Looks like he's not done yet. He's going to attack that blue lane with some massive air. And then he's going for another set of donuts. Time's already up though. Ooh, almost hits the container. A 27 for Damon Newton blows into the lead. Next up, we have reigning racing champion James Whitaker in Eagle Eye. Not quite the showing he wanted in racing. Looking to make up Ford in freestyle here. Going right after that single car ramp. Wanted a slap wheelie, didn't get it. Still pretty decent air off of it. Backside of the blue lane, good air. Great air, actually. Looks like he's going to the white lane. Hit it a little crooked, but still pretty decent air off of it. Searching around a little bit. Backside of the center ramp. Great sky wheelie off of it. Back to the blue lane. More great air off of it. Now back side of the white lane. Huge sky wheelie. Might not have been the best one of the night, but it was definitely up there. Next hit, only 20 seconds left. Going after the van stack. Not a lot of air, just kind of rolled over it, but still pretty good. Next hit, backside of the blue lane, a little crooked. Oh, get stuck in the van. Looks like he's going to call it there. Score of 22 for James Whitaker and Eagle Eye. Next up, Herbert Miller, Airborne Assault. Looks like we got a camper stack out there now. Be interesting to see who hits that first as Herbert starts with a great little sky wheelie. Herbert's really been coming into his own in freestyle these last couple seasons, getting better each event. So it'll be interesting to see what he gives us this event. It doesn't hit anything that time. Doesn't really go full throttle down the racing lane either. So it's a little bit of a lull in the moment. Finally hits another obstacle. Hits the white racing lane. Oh, is he going for the camper? No, he's just going to drive around it. Fans might not like that. They want to see some carnage. But some great air off of that one car ramp. That might make up for it with the fans. And now he goes straight to the van stack. Biggest air off of it so far tonight picking up the momentum here a little bit huge sky wheelie off the white lane that white lane is really setting these drivers up for some good sky wheelies searching around a little bit back to the one car ramp with some more huge air Only a few seconds left. What's he going to do? Looks like another massive sky wheelie off the backside of the blue lane. 24 points for Airborne Assault. Pretty good run. A little bit lacking in momentum. Probably cost him a shot at the win. Now we see Mark Moody in Before Breaks Car Parts. First event for this truck and this driver. Starts off with a Good little sky wheelie off the blue lane. Looks like he's going to go after that fan stack next. 
kind of just rolls off of it, but great slap wheelie. Not quite as good as Damon's earlier. Now he's going to go back side of the weight lane. Ooh, looks like he popped the left front tire. That should slow him down. And it is indeed flat. Launches it off the one car ramp. Now he's going to go into some donuts. One of the best moves you can do when you got a flat tire. These are some cyclones. They're not even donuts. Back at the blue lane. A little bit of an awkward landing, but combos it up on the back side of the center ramp. For a rookie driver, this is a really good first showing. Now launches it off the center ramp. Hard side slap, but keeps it on its... I was going to say all four wheels, but it's only three of them. Ooh! Stuffs it in that ramp. 22 points. Not a bad showing for a rookie with a flat tire. Next up, Todd Yates, doggone crazy. That camper is still untouched over there. Looks like he's setting up, going straight for the center ramp on the first hit. Now he's going back side of the white lane. And now he's going after that one car ramp over there. Oh, is he going to be the first one to hit the camper? Yes, he is. Just smashes right through it. That should score good with the judges. Pretty good momentum so far. Up and over the fan stack. Not a lot of air. Now into some donuts. This truck's never really liked donuts. But he keeps going for them. And now Todd gets a flat left front as well. And up and over. Saves it. Clock is still going. Which means the officials did not shut him off. Truck's refired. Ten seconds left. What's he gonna do? Looks like he's gonna try donuts again. And those diffs are not cooperating with him. And now he almost hits the same container that High Voltage almost hit earlier. 23 points for Todd. Not a bad score, but he definitely wanted more. Next up, Jack Schroeder and Try Me. Had to swap that transmission after intros. Missed racing. So he's going to want to put on a great show for these fans here. Starts off great hit off the white racing lane. Next hit, back side of the van stack. Biggest air so far off of that ramp. Huge air off the ramp. Biggest air of the night. Into some cyclones immediately after. Backside of the blue lane. Huge sky wheelie. And blows of the right rear tire. And now he's backing up. That probably going to hurt the score there. I don't think he cares. Gets caught up on the van stack, just completely destroys that obstacle. And now hucks it into more cyclones, almost flips it like four times in two rotations. Clips the camper stack. Backside of the center lane, huge air onto the side. And now 
back into more cyclones. Jack is going crazy out here with the donuts. Puts it down 26, not quite enough to beat Damon in high voltage. Second to last truck up, we got Mike Maxwell in loud pedal. Winner of racing. Always a threat in freestyle. It'll be interesting to see how he attacks this course, especially with everyone getting flat tires. Good first hit off the blue lane. Backside of the van stack. Not a lot of air, but there's not a lot of air to get off of a bunch of flat cars. More good air off the white lane. Great air off the back of the blue lane into a little slap wheelie. And now he's going after the one car ramp. Huge air. Looks like, ooh, almost flips it into the corner. Little sky wheelie off the camper into a slap wheelie. Clips the white lane and huge hit on the center ramp. 22 points, ton of time left on the clock, but that might have been the winning run if he had kept it going. Opal Baxter and Reckless Red, reigning freestyle champion, closing us out, starting off with a great slap wheelie off the backside of the blue lane. Next hit going after the white lane, pretty good hit. Looks like she's going for the camper stack next. Doesn't like how she's lined up, so she's going to back up. Could hurt the score there. Huge hit off of that. Into a slap wheelie. Puts it down before she gets in trouble. Combos it up on the back side of the center ramp. Great set of moves there from Opal. Looks like going after the van stack next. Pretty good air over it. Showing you fans exactly why she won the Freestyle Championship last season. Thirty seconds left going into a set of Cyclones. Pretty good Cyclones, not anywhere near what Jack and Try Me did. Launches it off the center ramp, lands it on the white stack, that should score pretty good. Backside of the van stack, not a lot of air there. Five seconds left. Pretty good hit on the blue lane. Looks like she's going to keep going. Cross threads the camper stack. Looks like she's going to end it there. 28 points for Opal Baxter. And she's going to win freestyle at the opening round of the 2002 season. Rounding out our freestyle results, we have Damon Newton in high voltage with a 27, Jack Schroeder in Try Me with a 26, Herbert Miller in Airborne Assault with a 24, Todd Yates in Doggone Crazy with a 23, James Whitaker in Eagle Eye, Mark Moody in B4 Brakes Car Parts, and Mike Maxwell in Loud Pedal all with a 22, DJ Payne in King Carnage with a 19, and Prehistoric Crush driven by Thomas Presley with a 17. This has been a great first event to the season and a great first event of our return. We'll see you next Friday in Fargo, North Dakota.